Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary. I will continue my lecture on gyro. I welcome you to attend this session of gyro. Now we will do a numerical that basically deals with gyro error number one, that is damping error and north-south speed error. So here is this gyro that is damped in tilt in latitude 48 degrees north, course 0, 3, 0. Uh, speed of the ship is 18 knots. This gyro is damped in tilt and auxiliary correctors are inadvertently set to zero. That means the latitude and speed is set to zero. They are not applied as they should be. So what happens is the latitude uh, and speed correctors don't function, which means that the gyro will exhibit the errors, error number one and error number two, that is damping error as well as the north-south speed error. As you know, the ship is in northern hemisphere the damping error will be eastwards. The ship is making a northerly course, which means that north-south speed error will be westerly. But the question says that as the course was steered 030, course midboard was also 030, which means that the gyro axle was showing the north meridian correctly, which means that one error is cancelling the other error. So what we must do basically here in most of the situations this is a, a kind of situation given to find out the row we will be able to find out row let us first find out the north south speed error and for that tan of delta is equal to v cos course upon 902.5 cos l plus v sine course for the numericals as i said you always put three digits course and uh, then you don't worry about plus minus sign because we are on northerly course the error has to be westerly so let's put the values down 18 cos 30 divided by 902.5 cos 48 plus 18 sine 30 degrees so let's see how much you get 18 into cos of 30 degrees equal to divided by bracket starts 902.5 into cosine of 48 degrees plus 18 into sine 30 degrees bracket close equal to shift tan you get 1.456 or 1.457 delta is equal to 1.457 degrees westerly this means that the damping error is this means that the damping error is 1.457 degrees easterly but damping error is equal to 57.3 into rho into tan of 48 degrees. So therefore the rho should be equal to 1.457 divided by 57.3 into tan of 48 degrees. 1.457 divided by bracket 57.3 into tan of 48 degrees bracket close equal to 0.0229 so we get rho is equal to 0 0.0229 the question says that the vessel goes to southern hemisphere in fact the next latitude is latitude 59 degrees it says that the course made goal was 0 06 degrees and there is no current, no leeway, nothing. It is just the uh, gyro errors which have to be considered once again as the ship steers in this area that is latitude 59 degrees south, right? The auxiliary characters are once again not applied. They are set to zero. So we have to find out what is the gyro course. In other words, we have to find out what is the accumulated error because of uh, these two reasons that is damping error and not south speed error. Now damping error will be 
because the ship is in southern hemisphere damping error will be westerly and damping error will be 57.3 into rho into tan 59 degrees so can I say 57.3 into 0 0.0229 into tan 59 degrees equal to 2.18 2.18 degrees westerly this is the damping error the north south speed error uh, it says that in the second part the vessel steers some course which is to be found out latitude 59 degrees and speed is 15 knots so 15 cos 60 can be written on top 902.5 cos of latitude 59 degrees plus 15 sine 60 degrees the ship's course has got northerly element which means that the north south speed error is also going to be westerly let's find out how much it is 15 into cos 60 degrees equal to Divide by, then the bracket starts, 902.5 into cos 59 degrees plus 15 into sin 60 degrees, bracket close, equal to shift tan. You get 0.899, so it is something like 0 0.9 itself. 0 0.9 degrees westerly total error is going to be 2.18 degrees plus 0 0.9 degrees so that is equal to 3.08 degrees west so we can say the error west gyro best error west gyro best means gyro is more than true so we can say if the true course was 0, 060, 0, the gyro course will be 0, 063.08 degrees. So something like 63.1 degrees is the gyro course. Let's take this question. There are two gyros, both are damped in azimuth, and we are going to compare these two gyros in this numerical. There is this gyro in 24 degrees north and course is 0, 038 degrees and the speed is 15 knots. This gyro, because it is damped in azimuth, there is no damping error. There is only north-south speed error. The approximate formula for north-south speed error is actually 10 delta is equal to V cos course upon 902.5 cos L. Because the error is small, we may say uh, delta in radian is equal to V cos course upon 902.5 cos L. So, uh, when we are comparing the two latitudes, you know, the radian part can get cancelled. And just for the equating purpose, we may say uh, delta is equal to V cos course upon 902.5 cos L. The question says that there is another ship with identical gyro that is damped in azimuth. Latitude, uh, say, 40 degrees north. That ship is also steering the course of 0, 0.38 degrees. What is the speed? And the condition that is given is both the gyros are exhibiting same amount of north-south speed error. That means delta 1 is equal to delta 2, which means that V1 cos course 1 divided by 902.5 cos L1 equal to V2 cos course 2 upon 902.5 cos L2. This gets cancelled straight away. Now their speeds are different. So V1 and V2 will have to be maintained but their courses are same so we can cancel this part also. So what we get is V1 upon cos L1 is equal to V2 upon cos L2. Out of this I know the latitude 1 and latitude 2 I can put the values there but before that let me write it down uh, with V2 on the left hand side so V2 
is equal to V1 upon cos L1. This cos L2 goes on the other side, goes in the numerator, cos L2. So that is 15 into cos of 40 divided by cos of 24 is equal to V2. So 15 into cos of 40 degrees equal to divide by cos of 24 degrees equal to V2. So the speed is 12.58 knots. So very simple. We have compared the two gyros which are damped in azimuth and just by a simple comparison we are very easily able to get uh, the speed of the second trip that is 12.58 knots in the latitude 40 degrees north.